Uh, Callum, disappointing to lose that game? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, first half, our mistakes led to Aberdeen chances. Uh, I think it was a tight game. It was always going to be tight. Aberdeen obviously came in and, you know, they forced it half at the back, you know, they just wanted to defend. So they came with a plan. Uh, maybe catches and counter with the pace they had. You know, it proved to be the case first half a little bit. We gave it away in bad areas and allowed them chances. And then we're always chasing the game. Second half, I think we probably limited their chances. You know, a little bit. They didn't, I don't think they did much either on that sort of same sort of side. We didn't do that much either. So it's always, always going to be a tight game, and the next goal was going to be crucial. Uh, fortunately, we can't. Uh, we need to watch the replay of what happened and said enough before I make any real comment. But you know, very, very tough, and you're going against a good, a good defensive team like Aberdeen. And uh, you know, from that point, you're just chasing the game. You know, you're just hoping to get a chance, a couple of chances, and take one. Uh, ball didn't particularly break for us today, and in the end, obviously. McGinn scores a wonder goal, you know, and that's the game over. But uh, yeah, disappointing in the end. Obviously, any game you lose is disappointing, so don't feel there was much in the game, but a mistake for the first one, and then obviously Niall puts one in the top corner. So, I mean, when you go down to 10 minutes, hard enough against a team like Aberdeen. So, um, but to be honest, I don't feel there was a lot in the game, but disappointed as always when you lose. Do you think we deserved at least a point from that game? Ah, it's hard to say. I mean, at the end of the day, they've won the game. Three points. We've lost the game. So, as I say, there wasn't much in the game at this level. Fine margins, win or lose your games, and, and that's the case today. And how difficult is it for, for for us to play with ten men against a team like Aberdeen? Ah, it's, it's difficult. Any time you play, you know, I think we probably had some good lot of possession against them with the ten men. But the fact is, you know, we've put in a big striker to try and change the game. You know, we've made all substitutions, the attacking substitutions that we can. At that point, uh, so then to lose him, you're, you're struggling. We put Sani up, you know, and then two minutes later they scored. So, you know, it's one of those that's very difficult. And uh, playing against 10 men sometimes it's harder, but again, when we don't have the attacking option, we've also taken Nigel off uh, for Rory. So, in the end, that was obviously by the, by the end of it, really. Uh, Peter Pollitt on loan here last season came back to haunt us as well. Yeah, Peter was a good player when he was here, you know, and he's improved. He's definitely helped. Been here at the time, so you know Peter's a good player. We always said that we'd have taken him back this season as well, but you know Derek and Doc have already seen something in them. You know, and I think the goal deflected as well. So again, you take rubber the green, and the ball spun away from Allen, hit the post and gone in. So in the end, it's sometimes these aren't your days. You know, but must come back strong next week against Partick. Um, how did you see the Rory Fallon sending off? I didn't see it. Um, a few of the Aberdeen players have said that he swung an elbow. If he's done that, then, then obviously he deserves to go, but. Uh, my my view was blocked if I'm being honest. Obviously you've got missing Maka. You know, games like this with Maka's experience holding the ball up, Lincoln play. You know, and then that helps Mazel. You know, Mazel sometimes quick, a little bit harder today against two good centre halves. You know, quick centre halves and uh, you know maybe we could do a wee partner up there today, but uh, in the end, you know, that's the things we've lost him, we've lost Rory now. I think we've really have three games, so we're vitally important over the Christmas period. But again, we've got the players here to to have a go again and we'll make sure they're, they're fired up ready to go for next Saturday Just finally how do we pick ourselves up for, for next Saturday against Partick? You've, you've got to I mean it doesn't matter you, there'll be disappointment tonight I mean you, that's any game no, nobody likes losing you come in on Monday um, that's gone now um, if you win lose draw anything come Monday morning you've got to dust yourself down go again and, and we're preparing for Partick Thistle now